Tennis star Novak Djokovic's court challenge against the cancellation of his visa is now underway in a Melbourne courtroom. Live to Sky News reporter Joel Philp, who is out the front of court. Joel, what is the latest here? Kenny, this entire court proceedings is being done via weblink. There are no journalists that are around inside, so the world's media are watching this online. It's a publicly viewable hearing, but with tens of thousands of people attempting to watching it, the weblink is constantly cutting out, so it's difficult to get the latest information. But what we do know is that most recently, the judge has asked Novak's lawyers whether it is also the case that they don't only believe that the way he was treated in the Melbourne airport on that morning of Thursday was unfair because of the treatment that he received, but also whether the decision to cancel his visa was also unfair and unlawful in that case. His lawyers say it is a mix of both. So at the moment, earlier we saw the various people here from the Serbian community listening to this, this live feed, broadcasting it via a megaphone, but at the moment they're listening in the shade, they're sitting in the shade rather. They've been dancing and singing traditional Serbian songs today while this gets underway. It is likely at around two o'clock we heard that it'll be adjourned for lunch. So just about now as Indeed, Novak's lawyers, Novak Djokovic's lawyers, sum up their legal case. At three o'clock, the Home Affairs Department will be able to make their legal case. And what they will be arguing is that, indeed, Atagi's advice was clear, that there was not any grounds that if you had had a recent COVID-19, uh, that you indeed had contracted COVID-19 recently, that it did not mean that you did not have to get a vaccination in order to enter the country. So it is not clear at this stage whether the case we wrapped up today, because the judge has also ordered Australian border force to be able to move Djokovic out of his hotel into a place of his lawyers choosing for any potential future hearings, both today and into the future. But there is at least one top Melbourne lawyer who thinks Djokovic will win. I think that his chances of winning his case are really good. I'm very confident that he will be successful uh, in this application before the Federal Circuit Court. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean he plays in the Australian Open. I think what's likely to happen is the matter will be remitted back to the Minister to consider whether or not the visa should be cancelled. And Joel, Tennis Australia boss Craig Tiley has broken his silence in a series of interviews with the media. So what has he had to say? Kenny, the other side of this, of course, is the political fallout. Now, Tennis Australia has previously vowed to tell all, effectively, once this court case finally wraps up. But Craig Tiley has been doing interviews with the media in which he's attempted to get clarity from the federal government about specific players being able to enter the country. But he said that the Commonwealth did not allow them to have that information. He says he's been given conflictive information throughout this period from the Victorian government and the federal government and simply that this situation did not need to occur. He says he still hopes that the world's number one tennis star is able to take part in the Australian Open, which starts in January 17. The Prime Minister has been asked about this issue once again today. Well, the matter is before the court, so I'm not going to be making any comment on the matter before the court um, and in relation to any other action the government um, may undertake. I mean, that's purely a matter before the courts at the moment. Uh, but in relation to the government, our government, the federal government's advice to Tennis Australia, that was set out very clearly in November, as I, I read the extract from this very podium. It could not have been more clear. Kenny, now we know the world number one tennis star is able to leave that detention facility nearby where he is located to a place where his lawyer chooses perhaps to give evidence in these proceedings. There's going to be even more attention at that facility. Well, the world's media are currently poised, sending out live shots just to see if there's any movement. There have been white vans going in and out of the underground car park throughout the day. So it's certainly incredible scenes here in Melbourne and we'll see what today and perhaps tomorrow brings.